We wanted to show you a delicious Palestinian recipe, and my friend from there recommended this one. Rumania, a hearty lentil, eggplant, and pomegranate stew. Start by dicing the eggplant. We used one eggplant, but you can use two. It was our first time making this recipe, so there was a bit of a learning curve. Add a teaspoon of salt and some pepper, then two tablespoons of olive oil, and mix. We decided to roast the eggplant as it gives it more flavor. Use parchment paper if you have it to avoid the pieces sticking to the pan. Bake for 15 minutes or until nicely browned. Set aside. Dice two medium onions. We didn't have any ground cumin, so we crushed seeds in a mortar and pestle to get some. Roughly chop six large cloves of garlic. In a small pan on low heat, add six tablespoons of olive oil and then the garlic. Keep the heat on low and stir constantly. Cook for about five minutes. You know it's done when it's golden brown. It will smell so good. We used a cup and a half of brown lentils. Rinse and strain the lentils before cooking them. This step isn't essential. In fact, we never do it, but apparently it's to remove dust and debris. In a medium-sized pot on medium heat, add olive oil and the onions and cook until translucent. Add the rinsed lentils and three cups of water. Add the cumin and stir. Bring to a boil and add the roasted eggplant. Add a tablespoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper and mix to combine. Cover, but leave a little crack so the steam can escape. Cook the stew for 15 minutes. While the stew is cooking, juice a lemon. Add the lemon juice, tahini, and pomegranate molasses. Pomegranate molasses is a bit sweet and very tangy, as we discovered after we tasted the stew. Add the fried garlic for a big kick of flavor. You really can't beat fried garlic for flavor. Cook for another five minutes, then set aside to cool. When we tasted our stew, we found it to be quite sour. This is why we recommended you just use one lemon, as we'd in fact had two in ours. If you find the taste is too sour, add some sugar, like we did. We added a quarter cup and found that it balanced the taste nicely. Rumania is meant to be sour, but pleasantly sour. Historically, this recipe was made with pomegranates that are smaller and more sour than this type. When I say historically, I mean historically, because this recipe is really old. Like from the 1200s old. In a cookbook from then, no less. Here's a trick to help you get those annoying pomegranate seeds out. Pick up a half and flip it over a bowl, spreading your fingers wide. Now whack it with something heavy like a wooden spoon, and the seeds will magically fall out into the bowl beneath. Voila! We learned this from Jamie Oliver. Pick the bits of rind out of the bowl because they're very bitter. Add half the pomegranate seeds to the stew and stir. If you'd like to learn more Palestinian recipes, subscribe to our channel. We'll be showing more in the coming weeks. You can serve the Rumania warm or cold. Top with tahini, pomegranate seeds, and chopped parsley. It's also common to garnish with fried onions. We love this as a dip. In Gaza, it's served with kubes, which is pita, or taboon, a flatbread. It's also perfect in a pita with falafel, which is how we ate it last night. Delicious.